Cool, we're live. Hello yeah. again, um, it's Fraser at the Happy Cog here. Another one of our now world famous, apparently, um, how-to videos. Today, we're gonna fit latex tubes into challenge open tubs or open pro tires. And I'm gonna show you the way to do it that doesn't mean you need to use these tire levers. You don't need them for fitting tires. I'll show you how. It's not that difficult. There's a couple of little tricks. I'll show you how to do it. And then if you've got any questions or anything else you want to cover, add it in as a comment as we go. And Ed, my trusty cameraman, who is also reading the comments, will let us have them at the end. Uh, bear with us. We'll get everything together and we'll be with you in a sec. Right. Okay. So for this one, you're going to need to raid the airing cupboard or the bathroom cabinet and you'll get talcum powder. Not only does it help you fit tyres, you mm. smell lovely on the start line. The next thing you're going to need is some of this. This is alcohol hand gel. Now, I use a lot of it in the workshop because I'm mucky, um, but you can just get away with a little tube or anything like that. And the reason we use that is to get the tyre bead on at the very end, it then evaporates and doesn't mean that your tyre squirms around on the rim. You're going to need, obviously, a tyre. These are open tubulars and the reason I'm showing you these this evening is they are a, a pain in the rear to fit. Um, because of their construction, which makes them incredibly good for cyclocross with the low pressures and everything, um, they are slightly more difficult to fit. And they're even more difficult to fit if you're going to use what I recommend, which is the Challenge Seamless Latex Tube. It's about the only tube available, in fact it is the only tube available in that size in latex for cyclocross. And it is cross specific. They do a narrower one for the road. Don't be tempted to stretch them into your tyres for cross because they will go pop. They're like, if you can imagine... A modelling balloon from a kid's party, that's exactly what they're like. They go all bubbly and horrible and will explode, which you don't want. Okay, let's get down to it. So we need a rim. We've just got a rim today instead of a wheel because it's easier. Um, sorry, tyre and tube. So this is what those latex tubes look like when they're out the packet. I've put a little bit of air in that, just blowing through the valve. That's all you need. First step is to fit your tyre. Now, when you're fitting your tyre, start at the valve hole, up the way, hopefully you can see. I'm going to have to look away from the camera a bit, which will, you know, hopefully you can hear me okay. Now, pro tip, right in or logo at the valve hole, so you always know where your valves are. The other thing to remember with the limuses and baby limus tyres, this is a baby limus, so perfect for cyclocross in Scotland for 90% of the races. The little Y shape, so if you can see, can you see that okay Ed? Just give me a second, I'll just make a slight adjustment. Yeah, here. we're just being pro about it, zooming and everything to it. Um, these little fellas here, the little Y shapes, the tails of the Ys should point forwards, okay? For the majority of fittings, that's what I do. Occasionally, if it's going to be mixed conditions, slightly wetter than I would normally run these tyres in, I'll turn that back tyre only the other way around to give me slightly more grip. Um, you're then compromised a little bit um, on the braking, but you, it does work a little bit better in soggier conditions. For the majority of people, just run them that way, pointy bit of the Y facing forward. So tire, logo at the top, valve hole here, so we're going to start at the valve there, with no tube in at the moment as you can see, we work our way around and then pick your tire and tube up, your tire and wheel up, and with your fingers, and if you can see Ed, can we see okay? Just a sec, we just can make just an adjustment, there you go, roll the tire, sorry, Roll the tyre into the rim. There you go. Now, if you are feeling particularly had a hard training session and you're a bit worn out, you could use a tyre lever for that bit, but nobody ever does. Right, so there we have a tyre. 
on a rim. As you can see, these tyres are different from a normal tyre. This is flat. It's like a seat belt or a ribbon. There's no vulcanising in these tyres, which is all a bit technical, but basically it means that they are exactly the same as a tubular, a glue-on, which we all know is the thing for cross. But if you want to change tyres, you need to think about whether you can afford to have two sets of wheels with different tubs on. So these are perfect. So the tyres on, it looks a bit weird and it makes fitting a bit difficult. So the first step, once we're at this point, after you've raided the bathroom cupboard, talcum powder. You see that okay, Ed? No. <laughs> Other talcum powder brands are available. Um, a little bit of talc into the tyre. And all this does is help the tyre of the tube to slide around in there while we fit it. And also, it will stop the latex from sticking to the tyre. It's not so much of a problem these days, but occasionally you would get a problem where when you went to take the tube out, it was stuck and you would damage the tube. So, a bit of that in there it makes it nice and slippy. You can clean that off afterwards and like I say you'll smell lovely on the start line. Um, <laughs> we have our tyre, now we need our tube, like I say, blow a bit of air into it, not much, just to make sh make it have a little bit of shape. This is where it gets interesting and it kind of goes against what you'll be told before, fitting tyres and tubes. Valve in here, as you'd expect. Drop the tube in, now this is where it gets fun. So your tube, your first job here is to fit the tube into the rim, not into the tyre, into the rim. So I've done, if you can see, all I'm doing is feeding that tube, can you see it? Yeah. Feeding the tube into the rim. So you want it in the bed of the rim, all the way around. Some tyres are tighter than others on certain rims. The challenge ones tend to be a challenge, shall we say. I remember Chris Barr last year got through about five of these before he finally got them on. Um, sorry Chris, I should have done this earlier. So as you can see, our tube is inside the bed of the rim, out of the way of everything. This is where it gets the opposite to what you probably told before. Now start at the opposite side oh, from the sick. valve. Can you see it, Ed? Gotcha. Okay, so we're starting to put this bead on from the opposite side that you would normally have been told to do it. So, simply work it round with your thumbs, same as you would. As you're working this way, the reason for doing it opposite the valve is it gives you a little bit more slack in the tyre. And by pushing down, like I'm putting my weight onto that, onto my feet, and that's stretching the tyre just a little bit to here. Now this is where your hand gel comes in useful. Again, some people might not need this, some people will. A little bit of hand gel, can you see that? Yep. Drop it on the floor, but don't drop it on the floor, just wipe it inside that last bit, that last bit of your tyre, the B, you see that there, just that much? Yep. Wipe a bit of the gel in there. It'll evaporate off your hands, so your hands aren't sticky and slippery, whereas if you do washing up liquid, it'd be like holding on to a greased pig. So, holding on to what? A greased pig. All oh, right, right. It's a northern saying. Um, so we're now left with this last bit. As you can see, it's tight, really tight. At this point, you might be tempted to break out the tire levers. Don't. You'll pinch the tube, and at seventeen pounds fifty, that's an expensive mistake. Hold that there. Take that hand, you're going to use the palms of your hands, this piece here, and roll that tyre. See how I'm just rolling it? Can you, can you get that head? Yeah. It just rolls on. It will be tight. You'll need to make sure you've had your Weetabix. See it pop on? And one more, it'll just go. There we are. All done. Tyre, tube in, ready to get some gas in it. Just to show it's not a fluke, we'll put some air in. Now, at cross, we'll be running, what, 19, 20 PSI? 
dig in maybe 21 on the back for the cobbles. I know it's not going to happen maybe this year, but there's other courses where you might want a bit more gas, Strathclyde, a bit more air because of the rocks, but 19, 20 psi. So pump it up. Now remember when you're pumping these things, take your time because if anything does go wrong, it's going to be loud. You're going to have the neighbours shouting at you. I had one of these explode in the back of my van on the M8 last year and I thought somebody chucked a brick through the window. It was horrible. So keep pumping until you see an even space between the rim and the black so the skin wall is all even. You might hear it go pop in a second and it's just the rim and the beads sorting themselves out. Turn the gauge on. I can tell you the sort of pressures we're at there. Yeah, so I normally pump mine up to about 30 psi. Is, it, is, is the camera picking up the fact that this bead's not on properly at this point? It may well do if I it's zoom it in a little thick, thing. The tire's slightly thicker here. Just hold it steady for a sec till it. You might not be able to see, but the tire's slightly thicker at this point. There's more of the tire coming out of the bead. It's not quite seated properly, so it needs a bit more air. There we are, I can hear it actually going. Makes a sort of cracking noise. So we're at 50 psi. And there we have one tyre with a latex tube fitted by hand with no tyre levers, no exploding tyres, no exploding tubes. Let them sit. Check your beads on okay. The telltale sign with these is if you can see, if there's no gap between the rim and the lettering, then it's not on properly. Just check them all the way around. Last thing you want is for your tyre to come off when you're riding. There we go, see? That bit there, it's not quite on properly. So just, just want to hold it there again. Let's show folk and I'll see if I can zoom it in a bit. not quite there. on properly there. I mean, that might actually be the transfer, not quite straight, but Okay. What I normally do to, do to sort that, let some of the air out, so it's a bit soft, and just twist. There we go. You hear that noise? That popping and cracking is the tyre just seating. Okay. And I think that's us. Yeah. All good. Mr. Shearer is asking if it's um, okay to put talc on his chain. Colin, you can put talc on your chain anytime you want. Anytime. You smell lovely anyway, Colin. Don't worry. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. You're right. Um, no, I don't use talc on my chain as a short answer. <laughs> you can try it. Ask Neil Walker. He'll tell you all about that. He races in the sand. Um, so that's it, guys. Um, like I say, any questions, any comments anything tyre tube related or even cross tyre related and why we use tyres and tubs and what the options are let us know in the comments it's going to switch the laptop on in a second and we'll see what comes up thanks for watching bye cheers